Hi my Aries, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your weekly spread for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media, it's Jamie Zebra 23. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are $25, $50, and $75. I typically do your readings within 24 to 72 hours. I also have um, a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have a $5 one question, one answer via email only. I have kits that I can ship out to you for love, money, or protection. You choose one, I ship out on Mondays, you receive on Wednesdays. I also have, um, I also have um, spells for love, money, and protection. I've got smudge sticks, all sorts of good stuff. So this is what we got going on for this week. You, I'm using the um, the Wild Wood Tarot by um, Mark Ryan and John Matthews. I love these cards. So we've got the Queen of Bows, the hair. We've got the Six of Stones, um, exploitation. And then we've got the Knight of Bows, the fox. So this is what we've got going on. All right, some of you might be um, spending a little bit too quickly this week. Money's coming in. It's coming in fast, but then it's going out fast. Um, you guys are spending it on expensive meals. You're spending it on, um, you know, just items that you know that you could get it either 50% off or way cheaper somewhere else, but just out of laziness or for whatever reason, out of, you know, convenience sake. You guys are, like, stopping somewhere and just picking up things or ordering out. I, I just see a lot of... Uh, a lot of mindless spending. Um, the money is coming in, but the thing is, is that you might not have the money for long. So you need to you need to stack some money because um, what do they say um, in the Game of Thrones? Winter is coming. I love Game of Thrones. Okay, so the, with the Knight of Bows here, the fox. The fox is a, is a shady character. The fox is um, is somebody who likes to exploit. Some of you live with someone that um, that. They're like, well, you live under this roof, so you gotta buy cigarettes, and you gotta buy beer, and you gotta pay for this, and you gotta pay for that. So this is either you that's spending like this, or somebody's trying to spend your money that way. They figure, oh, you've got money coming in, and you can't really leave because you need whatever benefits there are, whether it's internet, whether it's cable, whether it's a, you know, a warm bed to sleep in and cheap rent, or your or your credit's bad, or your next con. For whatever reason, it's it's a better fit for you to stay there, even though somebody is abusing their power and exploiting you. Okay, so then others of you, you do have an air sign, man or woman, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius coming in. I feel like this person is a positive person. It could be a new person or somebody that just entered your life. I don't pick up past energy. I feel like whoever this this air sign is, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, I feel like um, I feel like they've got good ideas for you. They want to, they're moving quickly with you, and the only reason why they're moving quickly with you is because they see something that they like. So don't 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 take it like okay oh no. And then for others of you, you did have a um, a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo person that was very much interested in getting back together with you, but um, but then they changed their mind for whatever reason. They're it stalled. Like somebody wanted to get back together. Somebody somebody seemed like oh it was a go it was a go, but then. All of a sudden, this person just like went silent on you. And you're like, okay, so are we doing this or are we not? I thought we made amends. You know, I thought we were going somewhere with this. They abruptly changed their mind. Um, I feel like whoever this person is is a very sneaky, shady character. And um, everything has to be on their terms. If it's not on their terms, then um, they're not interested. They don't care about your feelings. It's like all about them or nothing or this is the other way around. This could be you towards um, towards an earth sign that's behaving this way. If um, if, there, if it doesn't serve you, you're not in it. And then, okay, for others of you, this is what we got. We've got um, the Knight of Bows, the Fox. I love these cards. They're so cool. Okay, so yeah, so with the with the Knight of Bows, um, again, with the this is two fire signs. So you, so you have one fire sign that's good, one fire sign that's bad. Or this could be traits of a, of a I'm sorry, an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Sorry. Well, it could be good or bad. So maybe in the beginning of the week, this person is good. Towards the end of the week, they get negative. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> or they switch up a lot. But I do pick up a lot of fire energy here, even though, oh, well, it is here, duh, all the trees. Um, so some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries, a Sagittarius, Leo, or the Aries, um, fellow Aries. This person, I feel like, could be a manipulator. This could be you or somebody else. There's manipulation going on. With this manipulation, you need to be careful. This could be a coworker. This could be a boss. This could be romantically. Somebody's looking for the bigger, better deal. Somebody's looking to get one over on someone. Somebody's looking to... Um, to get something to get to get something for nothing um, there's like I, I pick up scam energy 
Like there, somebody might be trying to force you into a scam or you could be trying to force someone into a scam or you could have left an earth sign out in the cold. Some of you did scheme and had a scam going. You made a lot of money and maybe you didn't give um, give an earth sign a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo their cut. All right, guys, ta-ta for now.